All right, let's get started by opening a gold chart and a 15 minute time frame. The very first indicator we're gonna add is the exponential moving average indicator. So after adding the indicator within the style section, we'll change the color of the indicator to whatever we want. We're gonna use the exponential moving average to figure out the current market momentum. So I set the period to 145 to capture the longer term trend. After changing the period, make sure that the method is set to SMA and the length is 5. By looking at the candlestick compared to our 145 period moving average line, we can figure out the market momentum. Basically, when the candlesticks form below the moving average line, the market momentum will be going down. And vice versa, whenever the candlesticks form above the moving average line, the market momentum will be heading up. The MACD indicator is the second tool we use to spot fake signals. The MACD help us figure out the current trend and potential reversals. The space within the MACD line and the signal line shows how strong the trend is, with a bigger gap meaning a strong trend. After adding the MACD indicator, we'll set the fast length to 45. A slow length to 90. And make sure the source is closed. Then change the signal smoothing to 27. Then change the MACD line to yellow and signal line to white. Then head over to the style section and turn off the histogram since we don't need it. Then make the signal line a bit thicker. Basically, when the MACD line is above the signal line that confirms buy signals, and if the MACD line is below, that confirms sell signals. To figure out precisely when and at what price we should make a trade, we'll use the alpha trend indicator. Then in the alpha trend settings, we'll turn off everything except the buy and sell arrows. Then we'll change the buy arrow to green and sell arrow to red. After that, change the buy arrow to show below the bar and sell arrows to show above the bar. Then we'll change the multiplier to 1.7. and the common period to 14. All right, so to take a buy trade, we gotta wait for a buy signal from the alpha trend indicator. After the signal, to make the trade more accurate, we should check two things. First, we're gonna make sure the market momentum is bullish, meaning the candlesticks are forming above that 145 period SMA line. Then we gotta check to confirm that the MACD indicator is also confirming the signal, meaning the yellow MACD line is above the white signal line. In this example, the buy signal is confirmed. Now we can enter the trade at the close of the signal candlestick.
then you can place the stop loss below the recent swing low. And to exit the trade, consider a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. Alright, so to take a sell trade, we gotta wait for a sell signal from the alpha trend indicator. First, we gotta make sure the market momentum is bearish, meaning the candlesticks are forming below that 145 period SMA line. Then we gotta check to confirm that the MACD indicator is also confirming the signal, meaning the yellow MACD line is below the white signal line. In this example, sell signal is confirmed. Now we can enter the trade at the close of the signal candlestick. And set the stop loss above the recent swing high. And to exit the trade, consider a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1 and a half. Combining the momentum indication from the moving average, signal filtering from MACD, and targeting entries from the alpha trend, giving us a simple yet profitable setup for consistently profitable scalps. But if you are a beginner trader and you don't know how to make money from trading, you absolutely cannot miss this video. I'm gonna break down a simple yet powerful scalping trading strategy in full detail step by step just for you. From setting up the chart to customizing the indicators to identifying proper trade entries and exits.